Hello and welcome back to a new video. I'm Max from SketchUp TV and today we want to do an animation of the file of the sketch file that we created in the last video. So uh, make sure to already uh, to also check this other video out and what we will animate in principle that I can write here is um, the switching between these uh, thumbnails. And I think that's a common photo, where, a common problem when working with photos, when working with e-commerce uh, projects, clients, or maybe even an e-commerce startup, and many other uh, topics and issues as well. So we will have to export all the assets that we need at first, and since we're only gon gonna um, edit or animate this area right here, which is the photos folder. We can simply um, hide it and export the artboard itself so we get a nice way, a nice background, uh, which we will need later. Okay, so we export it to a folder that we like, and the next thing that we need as well is all. Uh, are basically all the photos and the borders around them and we need some photos also for this area so we have to make them bigger and we start by hiding the background at first and then we are going to export the bigger uh, shoes right here and the smaller shoes right here and yeah, let's just start out by making them exportable. You can simply export them down here. And when we click export layers, we simply get them exported quite nicely. Okay, so we have them in this folder and here they are. So we have the big ones exported, but what we need now are the frames together with the shortcut of these photos. So I will uh, make little groups together with the frames and these little screenshots. So I simply drag them together and then I just group these up like this. I don't give them a special name right now, but I would really uh, recommend that to you to use to do that when you uh, working together with developers and other people that may need a, a nice a good file name. Okay, we just export that to this folder. And yeah, let's just start start out by opening principle. Yeah, we skip that version for now and we want to create a canvas size that's the same size as our artboard in Sketch. Like this. So there we have it. And now all we need to do is to drag in our files like this. Okay, now um, just also drag in the big uh, shoes like this. So we have them right here and let's also drag in the smaller shoes with their frame. So we have them right here. And the first one, as I said, will be, oops, we will this pair right here. And I will simply reposition all the elements, all these pair of shoes and these frames. And we can also say, let's hide these 
for the moment. Ah, okay. And what I forgot is that I also need them, these shoes without a frame because only the shoe that's visible at the top will get the frame around it. So we go back to sketch and then we simply uh, ungroup them again. And I export the shoes without um, the frame around them. Okay, going back to principle. Here we should now have these shoes as well, right here, like this. And I will now just position them right over their current version with the frame around them. So maybe let's just zoom in and let's change the opacity so we can get get it that uh, get it done uh, correctly like this then we have the second shoe like this and the third shoe which is this one and we have it right here okay so let's hide the frames as we want to start out with the animation right now. And yeah, as I said, we would like to, uh, I would like to animate um, that clicking, for example, this shoe gives us this, oops, gives us um, this shoe right here. And we do that simply by saying we want to um, click something. So if someone is tapping uh, this shortcut, this thumbnail, it should get us to a, another artboard. And in this artboard we will have Oops, I'm still in the first artboard. Here we have the second one. Here we will have this one uh, as a big version. And we want the second shoe to be f framed in like this. So let's just say clicking this one, tap, goes to this screen right here. Okay, but what we uh, will have to do now is to um, change the opacity of these to 0% right here. And in this one, we have to change this one to 0%. This one right here as well. And here we need this one 0% as well. Here. So the layers basically that we set to be invisible, we have to actually set them to 0% uh, opacity. And we just do that by making them visible again. 
but changing the opacity to 0% like this. And here in our second artboard we also have to set the opacity of these shoes or of these frames to 0% which will actually give us the ability to yeah, make a nice animation, you see it right here, of a transition between these two shoes. We could say we want it to be a bit longer, which I actually like. Oops. Like this, we can say it should be a bit longer or not that fast. Clicking this and here it simply changes. And we can say, of course, let's get back to the first artboard by clicking this shoe. Okay, this should, so yeah, th this should also work and it just works fine. But of course, I would like to have these animations a little bit longer, like this. And here you see we have a nice animation. But what I see when clicking these shoes is you see a little border around the shoe because it's a screenshot in our case. If you would use uh, PNGs, that wouldn't be a problem. But we could also say, um, let's start by showing this pair of shoes after this one is invisible. So we simply do that by, yeah, we are in this artboard right here and we say make this one invisible faster and this one visible faster as well. Maybe like this. And I think now it should actually work out. You see, we don't have any borders or something that are showing up that don't look that nice. Because we said this one should be uh, invisible at first. And I will do the same for our for the other animation that we did, like which was this one. And here we want the big one layer to be invisible very fast. And after that, our second layer should uh, be visible after big one is invisible. Okay, a bit hard to explain, but I think you get what I just mean. And it looks way better right now, switching between these two artboards and these two photos. And I will continue this with the third artboard and this artboard will of course display um, the third shoe which is here at 100% opacity. This one is at 0%. Then we have um, this one at 0% and this one at 100%. Okay, and now let's say this artboard gets us this shoe, clicking this shoe gets us to this artboard right here. So now we have a new animation. And of course, what I want again, we can simply look at it for a moment. What I want is to make sure that everything looks nice without any borders. And in this example, it already does because they this, this one, this layer and this one are about the same size. So we don't have any borders that are showing up. But when I say we want to go backwards again with this tab to this artboard, it can be possible. 
but yeah, it just looks fine again, as I said. Okay, we can also say with this tab, we would like to go back to the first one. And here, of course, with this tab, we will go to the last one. Now we have all the animations between these screens, between these three screens that are showing uh, the animation between the shoes or basically the photos. And I want to show it to you a bit bigger and I think it just looks amazing. That's the way it should look, it sh shouldn't just pop up like, uh, like statically and it's just uh, looking so amazing having these transitions between these photos. So yeah, that was a simple new tutorial in principle and if you'd like, if you like this tutorial just give me a thumb up and if you haven't subscribed yet I would be happy if you are a new subscriber on this channel to see the next videos which usually, usually come up uh, on Monday. And yeah, thank you for your time, enjoy your week and we see us next time. Bye!